Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss forward feature selection in machine learning with a simple example. In machine learning, subject selection or feature selection is the process of selecting relevant features for the construction of a machine learning model. The central premise of feature selection technique is that the given data may contain many features. Out of that, uh, there may be some redundant or irrelevant uh, features. We need to remove these particular redundant and irrelevant features and then we need to retain only the relevant features so that we will get the better model in this case. There are mainly two approaches for subset selection. One is known as forward selection. Another one is known as backward selection. In this video, I will be discussing forward feature selection technique. In forward feature selection technique, we use the following notations. N is the number of uh, input variables. Let us assume that uh, we have been given a data set where three features are there or the input variables are there. So N will become three in that case. Uh, we use X1, X2, Xn as the input variable names. In this case, we have three features. So that's the reason we will name them as X1, X2, X3 and T is the target over here. Fi is a subset of uh, this set of input variables. So in the initial case, we will set uh, a zero number of features in this case after that we will add one feature and then we will add one more feature and so on so that is nothing but fi is a subset of set of input variables here and e of fi is the error incurred on the validation sample when only the inputs in fi are used here for example uh, when i is equal to one there is only one uh, feature available in this particular uh, subset and then the error occurred on that particular uh, subset is nothing but e of fi over here now, um, basically there are uh, three steps are there in uh, forward feature selection. In the first step, we will set uh, f of 0 is equal to null. The meaning of this one is uh, we don't have any uh, features in the uh, subset over here. And e of f0 will be set to infinity in the first case. Next, what we do is uh, we will start from i is equal to 0 to the number of features. And we will repeat this particular a, b, c until this particular condition is true here. Once this particular condition becomes false, we will uh, we will come out of this particular loop here. Now, what is the meaning of this particular thing is, uh, for each possible input variable xj, so what we do is, uh, initially we don't have any feature, so we will select one feature at a time, and then we will train the model with the input variable fi, the number of input variable available in this particular subset, and the selected feature. So let us say that in the first case, what we do is, we will select x1, and the number of features available here. How many are there initially? Nothing is there. Nothing plus x1 over here. And then we will train the model. Again, what we do? We will calculate the error here on the top of that particular feature set. And then we will select the second one, fi and x2, and then we will calculate the error. fi and x3, we will calculate uh, the error here. Let us say that after training and calculating error, uh, for this particular x1, we got 10% error. For this particular uh, we can say that x2 we got 9% error and for this particular x3 we got 11% error here. The meaning of this particular thing is out of these three features we are getting very less error for this particular uh, second feature that is x2. So what we do here we will select x2 as the feature or the best feature at this particular point of time. So that is what actually it says choose the input variable xm that causes the least error here. So out of these three, which one is uh, causing the least error? X2 is causing the least error. So we will select that particular X2 here. And that X2 will be set as Fi plus 1. Fi plus 1 is equal to previous subset and the selected feature here. We will go back here and then I will be incremented. Now we have already selected this particular X2. From the remaining sub features, we will select one more feature here. And then we will train the model. That is X2 is already selected here. From the remaining one, either we will select x1 here or we will select x3 here and then we will train the model and then we will calculate the error here. Again, uh, there are two possible cases are there, x2, x1 and x2, x3 here. It may happen that for x2, x1, uh, the error may be, you can say that uh, 7% and for this particular x2, x3, the error may be 6% over here. So between these two, which one is generating least error? x2, x3 is generating the least error. So what we do here is this x3 will be added to this particular the previous subset so that uh, we will get the new subset here fi plus 1 will become x2 in the previous case and x3 is added to this one. So the total number of features are x2 and x3 here. We will go back and then we will select the another feature and the same thing will be repeated again and again until this particular condition is true over here. 
once this particular condition become false we will come out of this particular loop here and whatever the final subset we have that is the best subset for the given data set over here so this is the simplest procedure what we follow in the forward feature selection so that we will get the best subset here with respect to forward feature selection we need to remember a few points the first one is uh, in this particular process we need to stop adding any feature that does not decrease the error here for example let us say that we have selected one feature and for this particular one feature we got 10 percent error here just imagine or you can say that uh, assume that we got 10 percent error now what we do is we will add one more feature now the number of features are how many two here after adding one more feature let us assume that the error decreased to you can say that eight percent so that's a perfectly fine we need to add this particular feature because error has been reduced to eight percent here now it may happen that we want to add one more feature let us say that i will add one more feature now the number of features are equivalent to three after adding one more feature let us assume that the error is not decreased uh, from eight to seven or six or something like that it has become you can say the nine percent now after adding another feature the error is actually increased over here the meaning of this one is we should not add this particular error or okay features here that's the one possibility where we need to stop adding the feature here that's the one thing the second thing is let us say that after adding one feature to this particular two that is the number of features are three now when uh, the number of features are two what was the error the eight percent now let us say that after adding this particular feature three uh, we are not getting uh, much decrease for example we are getting you can say that 7.999 the meaning of this one is it is almost equivalent to eight percent here so there is no use of adding one more feature here the number of features are two is a better option in this particular case also but this is the one thing we need to remember here if the error is uh, not getting decreased we should not add a feature if the error decreases too small again we need not add a new feature over here the second thing is uh, this process that is the forward feature selection technique is very costly because uh, we need to reduce the number of features from n to k that is the one uh, which will give us the better accuracy here because uh, in the first iteration we need to consider all n features second iteration we need to consider n minus one third iteration we need to consider n minus two until we get n minus k number of features here so this is a costliest process because uh, the complexity of this particular thing is uh, o of n square here it will take a lot of time uh, to get what you can say that uh, the better or you can say that the best subsets over here so these are the two points we need to remember with respect to, to forward feature selection so in this video i have discussed uh, how uh, forward feature selection works with the uh, algorithm i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching